always want to isolate this arm before I attack anytime. Okay? Always have this arm isolated. I want to try to get my knee tight to his elbow, uh, tight to his ear as possible. That way this arm is trapped. If for some reason he starts to get this arm in between me and him, this arm gets here. I don't want to attack until I isolate this arm, okay? With this arm here, he can start to hit the skate, he can put this hand in front of my face, he can start pushing on my hip, and now he's creating space. I don't want him to stay tight to him. So, if he gets the arm in between me and him, a couple ways to, to recover this. I can, I can switch my hips, go to the scar, lift this arm up, scoot this hip underneath him. Once I do, sorry about that, <laughs> once I do, I can come back to the, uh, the side control position, okay? I want to get good shoulder pressure onto his face here, okay? I'm cupping my fingers inside of his armpit here. This elbow is tight against his hip, okay? Now, if he's hugging around my neck on this, on this one, this is when I'll atta attack the arm bar, okay? First thing, this hand's going to go. And my elbow is going to push. See how I pushed his head up towards my, my thigh here? I want, to, I want to trap his head up in there like this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cup his, uh, his, his tricep and I'm going to drive my forehead to the mat just like this. As I do, I'm going to switch my hips and I'm going to start walking towards his head. Once I feel like I can pass my leg over, I'm going to push his head and drive my knee to the mat just like this. Okay, notice I got this arm extended. From here, I'm going to bring this knee in tight, and I'm going to pull him up on his side, and I'm going to squeeze my knees together just like this. I'm leaning on him still, okay? From here, I'm going to fish this arm through. Once I fish this arm through, it's all the way elbow deep. I'm going to pull this arm out and grab his wrist and lock my own wrist. I'm going to keep his elbow tight to my chest. He may be grabbing his own thigh here. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip his arm this way, away from his body. So from here, the first motion I'm going to make is out this way. Then once I break free, I'm going to lift his arm up and take it over, okay? Again, I'm in a good side control position. He's got his arm in between me and him. I'm going to switch my hips and bring this hip underneath his shoulder. I'm going to cup the back of his tricep, lift it, bring this knee back here, come back to the side control. Okay? He's hugging around this arm. I'm going to push his head up, uh, up against my thigh with my elbow. I'm going to drive my head to the mat. What I do, I'm going to switch my hips again. Notice that my hips are driving against him. Push his head, bring my knee over the top of his head. Notice I'm laying on his arm here. From here, this other knee comes in tight. I pull him on his side. I squeeze my knee so he can't go back to his back. From here, I slide this arm in, elbow deep. I'm elbow to elbow with him. I grab his wrist, lock my own wrist. I pull this tight against my chest. He may be locking, locking this into his leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it away, up, and out. And when I do this motion, grab it. It's going to be up, mm. away, up, and out, fast, okay? But do it slow so you can work the technique. Questions? Let's try it.